I'm going to be told by Olivia, Annabelle, and Ava. Hammurabi was the ruler of Babylon from 1792 to 1750 BC. He conquered many city-states and needed ways to control everyone equally and fairly, so he came up with a set of 282 laws called Hammurabi's Code. Hammurabi had these laws inscribed on a giant slab of stone called the Stila. He had this displayed in the public so that everyone could see and know the laws. The laws covered everything in in life from debts to witchcraft. This was so everything was fair and organized. Hammurabi thought the punishment should fit the crime. The punishments were much harsher than today. If you poked out an eye of someone in the same class, your eye would be poked out. However, if you broke the law and the victim was someone in a higher class than you, the punishment would be harsher than what you did to them, and you would probably be killed. If you were higher, you may only have to pay a fine. Slaves and women were on the bottom of the classes, but they did get protected by some law. Trial by ordeal was one way people were determined guilty. The accused would be thrown into the river, and if they drowned, they were guilty. If they made it to shore, they believed that the god let the accused live because they were innocent, and the accuser would be killed. One of the laws was that if someone accused another of a crime but can prove it, the accuser would put to death. This was law number one of the code. Law number 195 said that if a son were to hit his father, they would get their fingers cut off. Law 229 was, if a builder builds a house for a man but does not make it strong enough and the house collapses and causes the death of the owner, that builder shall be put to death. Hammurabi closed claimed that the laws were given to him by the god Shamash. On the stella, there is a carving at the top showing Hammurabi receiving the laws from Shamash. Since it was Shamash who made the laws, when someone had a complaint about a law, Hammurabi would tell them to complain to the god instead of him. What a great way to get out of that situation, if you ask me. There are lots of things that have changed from the code to our laws today. For instance, the punishment back then were harsher than today, and we, and we are allowed to get to court. Also, the laws were chosen by one person, and now it takes a lot more people to make a law. The Babylonians also depended on the gods to determine what happened while we don't. Some similar things are that the laws still serve the same purpose, to organize groups of people and keep things controlled and fair. Hammurabi's code had a huge impact on our life today. Thanks for watching, and remember, don't mess up with my Potania, and Hammurabi shines bright. Shine bright, shine far, don't be shy, be a star where you live, where you are, be a star. Shine bright, shine bright, don't be shy, be a star where you live, where you are, be a star.